Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com, and in this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at how to pass your C7 license exam. Now, the C7 low voltage contractor is an electrical license for contractors specializing in work under 91 volts. Now, the test is going to include job planning and design, material selection and estimation, wire cable installation and termination, system configuration and installation, system troubleshooting and or repair or replacement, and safety. Now, you'll also have to pass a law and business exam that will include business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, and of course, safety and public works. Now, the CSLB licensing exam is going to be two parts. So it'll be 115 questions covering law and business and another 115 questions covering low voltage. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book, and you'll get three hours to complete each section of the test. It is a computerized exam that you'll take physically at a CSLB testing facility. So that means if you're applying from out of state, you will need to come to California to physically take the exam. But there are testing centers throughout the state of California. Uh, for a free guide that pretty much breaks down from A to Z everything that you need to know about the application, requirements, costs, and different things like that, you can download it. It's uh, You'll see a thing pop up on the, on the right-hand corner. I suggest you check that out. It'll answer all your questions about you know all the administrative administrative side of getting a license. Now, the low voltage electrical specialty portion is really important because it, in California, you've got to be a journeyman to even be able to get a contractor license. So you're going to be tested on a variety of different areas that you may or may not be familiar with, but you'll want to be prepared to answer questions on basic electrical theory, plan and circuit symbols, electrical materials, satellite antenna systems, first aid, computer networking, communication systems, CCTV surveillance systems, different types of fiber optics, California electrical code, and then obviously the NFPA recommended practices, which is the National Fire Protection Association. So you're going to want to be prepared for a lot of the different types of trade questions that could come up. Now, the mathematics that you'll want to know prior to the low voltage exam are going to be definitely basic math. You want to know your addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, percentages, and decimals, different dimensions, wire lengths, and calculating loads. You want to be able to uh, you know, transfer watts to kilowatts, converting percentages to decimals, obviously. And a uh, you know, certain amount of the questions will draw from Ohm's Law. So you want to make sure that your mathematics are, are tight before going into the exam. Now, you know, when you go online and you see contractor classes, you'll see contractor license school, you know, when you go and, and search online, you want to take this term with a grain of salt because all a contractor's license school can really teach you is about the law and business. You know, you're going to need to have a solid foundation in your trade. So, you know, you'll want to be able to, to review something that's going to give you a good look at every possible scenario, every possible area that could be on the trade test and different possible questions and how they could be posed to you. You'll also want to have a solid foundation in your California health and safety codes, the different laws, the different regulations, employment requirements, job site safety. California takes these things extremely seriously, and they're always uh, a significant portion of the exam. You obviously, as I said, you want to have your math skills uh, tight. You know, you want to know your common equations and your formulas. It's really important to have test taking experience going into the exam. Flashcards are extremely helpful and not only online practice tests with questions and answers, but explanations as to why the answers are correct are extremely helpful. And, you know, you want to have walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors and lawyers who can help you decipher the language and, and really kind of succeed not only on the law and business part uh, and pass your exam, but help give you insight on how to really run your business uh, profitably and, and and you know all the best practices for that just want to thank you for watching uh, if you found this video helpful please give us a like drop us a comment if you have any questions subscribe to the channel we've got complete courses uh, to help you pass your c7 license exam we've got blueprint reading classes trade skills classes and a lot more uh, thanks again for watching and this is zach from digitalconstructive.com